This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. So did y'all have a good swang? <laughs> Jingling Johnny's and the venomous fruit. <laughs> well, welcome back to Quest for Glory 3, everybody. Hey, everyone. Lion hey. swang. Tell me of vengeance. Raja would have all of Tana rise up against the Leopardmen in order to punish them for daring to attack the peace mission. There was no real proof that it was the Leopardmen who actually ambushed the peace mission. Only vague talk of Claus and Magique. Could have been me as far as anyone knew. I am sticking with <laughs> Magique and Leopardman till the end. It's just happening. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. It's, <clears throat> I, I admire that you're sticking to the bit. Thank you. You've come too far to give it up. I think so. The spear is somehow the key to this Simbani war. If the spear will return to the Simbani, then perhaps the Laibon will speak of peace! I am asking Sorry, you to find I the spear, Sorry, I got quite excited friend. there. <laughs> I'm in the middle of this. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> if the Leopardmen do have it, it will be very difficult to regain, but I know that you can do it. <laughs> you uh, you keep not leaving, so I assume you're into this too. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've had an erection for over a month now. I'm quite tired. <laughs> the Leopardman village is hidden by strong magique. You'll need the aid of uh, Leopardmen in order to find their village. I have to befriend the I'm coming up Leo with many Pardon? reasons for you to leave. My injured, uh, was it hind leg? Yeah, hind leg pains me greatly. <laughs> I bet it, it does. It's difficult to walk upon it now. Sorry. You, That's make, why you make it I'm sound like he's committing in insurance position. fraud or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rakesh, I believe that the demon wizard who injured your leg may still have some link to you through it and is causing you this pain. Would you like me to look at it? I mean, if the demon wizard is linked to you still, he may be watching your actions. I hope so. <laughs> Fortunately, the Prince of Shapir cannot be so closely watched by the demon wizard, and that means that uh, I can't hang out with him anymore. <laughs> yes, let us hope that is true! I, so I, you... don't, I don't hear demon wizard and think leg injury. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think an injury from... Uh... You know, a, a demon wizard would be like, yeah, part of my soul got ripped out, or I'm like three quarters of the way disintegrated. I don't think, ow, my <laughs> leg! That wizard really got me! Was no, he a man. demon? Just a man. Wow. It, would, it, it was a gentleman's agreement. They decided instead of fighting, they were just going to have a leg race in season one. They, they just, they, they settled it like gentlemen with a charlie horse competition. Just, <laughs> just a Remember the time we fought what? the demon wizard and I walked away with a bum knee? <laughs> Only one, one quarter of Alex, because the other three quarters have been disintegrated, sitting there telling you about his fight with a demon. <laughs> that dickhead wizard that, gave me a fucking bruise. I guess maybe he tripped while... Maybe he's maybe he won, but he tripped while fighting the demon wizard, and that's what he means. He hurt his leg fighting a demon Any, wizard. Anything's possible. Uh, Is your leg a snake? Because that's the only you. injury that makes sense. Oh, wait. You've got to help Are you back me. to the shop, people? Please help. No one around here is allowed to talk to me. I can't buy anything. No one would take my fucking money. You can't imagine how bad it is to be considered without honor in this place. Holy fuck. It's sure hey, inconvenient. Man. Yeah, man, I understand. I stabbed a guy in the back when I first got here. <laughs> oh, wait, that was you. <laughs> Oh, wait, that was you. <laughs> you! You don't know how good it is to hear someone say that to me. Yeah, man, cool. You gotta help me. <laughs> Whoa, what's he Tell me about being without honor. How's that feel? How's that working out for you? You like that? <laughs> yeah. I'm, th I'm thinking of trying it. I know I'm a paladin, <laughs> but you know, I'm everything. <laughs> Big deal, I thought. What kind of punishment is losing honor? I never had much to do with honor anyway. Now I, uh, 
I know what they mean when they say without honor in quotes, you know. It means no one can fucking talk to me, man. It means no one even looks at my fucking face. It's like, uh, as if I was dead or something, you know. You're breaking some sort of law just listening to me, man. You're probably going to get no honor just for doing that. Anyway, I got no place to stay except in the tents of the bazaar at night. You know, I, I got no use for money. I can't fucking buy anything. I can't even get away because no caravans are coming because of uh, uh, war rumors, you know, war rumors. So he's literally a drifter. Yeah, man. I don't know what to do, man. I'm starving. The only food I get is some meat that uh, that the dog guy leaves behind at night. Jeez, it's, it's a good thing it's still warm at night or I'd, uh, uh, you know, fucking freeze to death or something. What, anyway, I, I... What do you mean by dog guy? You know, the dog guy. <laughs> anyway, I heard you... <laughs> what do you mean by dog guy? I heard you were trying to stop this war. Well, I'm not much for politics, but... Uh, Fucking go for it, man. Stop this war, and then the caravans will come back and get the hell out of this shithole. Then maybe I can get away someplace where they only cut off your hand if they catch you stealing instead of this no honor bullshit. Imagine an entire town giving you the silent treatment. He's going to go to another (laughs) town, they're going to cut off his hands, and he's going to be like, man, I I like hands way more than honor. (laughs) (laughs) Look, call me Harami, please. Look, I I stopped here with the last caravan, thinking to pick up a few things here and there, and then go on my way. And I, how was I supposed to know there was gonna be no more caravans coming here? All right, okay, all right, no big deal. I can make a living for a while, right? My name's so not Harami, but please call me <laughs> I, that. I fell in <laughs> with the wrong crowd. Next thing I know, I'm caught up, and they bring all these kinds of. Things they say I stole. How the fuck did they know? If I knew they knew I saw me, I wouldn't have stole them in the first place, you know? <laughs> anyway. I'm fucked, basically. <laughs> this guy's totally anyway. representing himself at trial. Man, I just, <laughs> I just want to get the fuck out, man, you know? Rumors, eh? Yeah, I hear the merchants talking about war all the time. You know, if you don't do something about peace, you know, the, uh, I'll never get out of here, man. I should be your main uh you I know, should be your motivation. sidekick. Yeah, bring me with you, man. Have a fish, dude. <laughs> Wield me as a sword. Oh Thank man, that's 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 great. <laughs> this guy's fish has been right. in my pocket for a week. Here, have another one. When you refer to him as a literal drifter, I pictured him breezing around like a tumbleweed. (laughs) He's just a literal drifter. Hey, look, take care. I mean, like, you're the only pal I got. I don't want to lose you. I stabbed you in the back. I literally threw a knife into your back. We're the ones who got him caught. (laughs) Yeah, I threw a knife at him. And that would have been, like, a, a honor-losing offense on my own side, but he had already lost his honor at that point. So I was uh, it was counted as just, like, defacing property. Not even that. It was like, oh, it was like I threw a knife at a rock. I it's guess like I, I can't just be threw a knife. punished for that. Yeah. yeah. You you popped some bubble wrap before recycling it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't know oh, if you can recycle shit. bubble wrap. Oh, this sort is the, this is the inn where the woman's really suggestive, I think. I think that's what... This is the one. Is yep. she a marriageable option? Uh, no. She doesn't show up after a quest for War 3. God damn it, man. She's like the best. <laughs> She's the best. Uh... She's just the best. I don't want to lose her. <clears throat> I really don't. Uh, okay. Uh, worst music in Sierra game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright, fair. Uh, new question for Glory, Citizen Scribbler. Hey. Would you please address my comment from episode 6 of this playthrough where, as you requested, I reveal which one of you sounds like Scott Thompson to me? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. For Great, Glory. Question, Great request. question. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we will not. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. It's me. It was Matt. Thompson. Matt is the one. I'm the one that sounds like Scott Thompson, apparently. Is that true? I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know Scott who Scott Thompson, Thompson is. I need to look yeah, at right. He's a hall. Canadian television actor. Again, we are filled. My mouth is filled with the warmth of your presence, 
Son of the sun, what do you wish from me today? I don't know. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Mahaba, Fendi. You are most welcome here. He was polite. Uh, I flirted up. It is said that actions speak louder than words, but I fear that I would become deaf if I tested you upon that. Ooh. What's on the menu today? Nikate wa mai is the Swahili term for the food we serve today. Oh, he who walks with power. All right, I'll have some of that. Give me that. I will bring your meal right out. It you is... didn't tell me what was in it, but I figure oh. I'll just go for it. It's a. I'll it's have a one meal, please. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's another empty plate. Cool. Cool, cool. Just like every time I come here. Yum. Here is your feast. May it please <laughs> ah, this she, she pumps her fist and shouts, Rufy! Oh! As she walks away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, she just... I, I can't see anything, but I can smell stuff. Yes, that is a plate of my fart. Yeah, I just farted on this plate and gave it to you. Enjoy. <laughs> she just shoots you a defiant look and dares you to make a scene about how there is no food. And everyone else is just sitting around wretchedly pretending to eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, I was Scott Thompson. There. Fucking <laughs> there. But you know what? That's fine. I'll take it. Mm. You know. I assume there are worse things to be, but I don't have a oh, mental image man, of Scott absolutely. Thompson. Absolutely. But you, you know what? Isn't that who we all are day. in some way? <laughs> in some We're way, all Scott Thompson, Thompson in our own way. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Do we have to go see these two oh, again? No, I was gonna see awkward. if uh, Kreisha was here. Um, on her own. You guys still <laughs> fucking? <laughs> no, we're still fucking. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'll take a rain check. Yeah, we were interrupted last night by some asshole! Oh, they're those lion tour people. Yes. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I was wondering why the lower half of that intimate portrait was so hard to follow. It's just That's lion. Why. <laughs> That's why, man. Yeah. Yeah. So they say, they say, that mm -hmm. the music you listen to between the ages of 12 and 14 will influence your musical taste for the rest of your life. Okay. Uh, I was between oh, the ages of 12 and 14. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What the is fuck that is that the this? noid? I like, noid. That can, I like that you can take pot shots at stuff now while it's charging towards you. I mean, you could do that in the older Quest for Glories as well, but... There's uh, just a magic menu, so it's a lot, a little bit easier to do. Welcome to Burger King. Jeez, this that... is the magic menu. Oh. I... Oh. Okay, so did they Oops. just purposely... Run. <clears throat> did they purposely... Oh, no. Just not draw parts of the creature's bodies in this? It like... was an artistic choice! <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Look at this I'm not down shit. with that choice. I don't agree with that. Lazy choice. Anyway, yeah, uh, when I was between 12 and 14, it was what, like 19... 94 to 96. 90, no, 90, no, no. Earlier. Earlier. Did, did you say 12 to 14? 12 to 14. So yeah, I you had been like... 12 in 1994. No. Oh, no, you would have been... No, no. no oh, I'm going the other way. 1990 to 92. 1990 to 1992. Which is, I think, one of the worst two years for music. Yeah. <laughs> agreed. In the world. Absolutely agreed. You had Maki Mock and the Funky Bunch. Oh, yeah. you, you had MC Hammer. You had Vanilla Ice. You had uh, I, yeah. Snow in Canada, I believe. But 1990 and 1992, like I can't tell you can't. That's not how you walk off a cliff. Anyway. No, I, I went around the back of it. <laughs> it's interesting because there have been a lot of years of music. It's been around a while. Yeah, you know, yeah. those are the yeah. worst two. 
it, it explains my my desperate love for balance, though. It, it would be hard to isolate, right? Because it, it would taper off into uh, an ambiguous notion. But music had a first two years at some point. Someone would yeah. probably be like, you know what? This is the first music. Here's year one of music. You're saying 90 to 92 was worse than that. They way went worse. all the way back, and it was way worse, worse than when it got started. It's like caveman, and it was vaguely like rhythmic log. hooting. Still better than 1990 <laughs> to 92. Just <laughs> early hominids <laughs> yowling at one another. Now, oh, what you have to understand, fucking... like in the first years of music, anything that was done pretty much you could consider to be innovative. Um, and so, as so such, like, it would probably age well from a history perspective. But you, the music from 1990, rhythm. like, oh, like it. It doesn't have any merit, and it hasn't aged well. <laughs> the first so if percussion you're put a was a bunch of hooting cavemen next to Eddie Brickle and the New Bohemians. You're going to choose the oh, cavemen. Oh my god! <laughs> the first, the oh first music god. was probably some fucking Australopithecus <laughs> rhythmically cudgeling a rival to death. But that's still still better. Still than Still better. Yeah. I'm not aware of music. too many things. I know what I know. If you know what I mean. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I deeply, deeply love the music of 1990 to 1992. <laughs> like, deeply. <laughs> I love it. But I understand, in as historical context goes, nobody likes those mu- that music. Like, <laughs> nobody's remembering that and going, oh, yeah. So, like, if you were born in 78 like me, you probably have a, a similar affinity. In fact, I looked up a playlist on uh, Spotify for early 90s music. And the person who uh, had it, who made it, had the, the number 1978 in the end of their name. So I'm like, there yeah, I feel I feel you, girl. We're, we're in this together. We're in this <laughs> shithole together. God damn it. So uh, who got lucky with their, uh, with their 12 to 14 years? Um, I was born in 82, so what is that? I think I'm 90. Uh, 94 to 96. Way better. Way better. Way better. Things yeah. were way better. Fucking even 93 would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 92 to 94, so, you know, it's the the beginning is not so good, but it gets better as the, the two years go on. Yeah, way better. Mine was uh, 2001 to 2003 was my 12 to 14 years. Yeah, but you didn't listen to music. So. <laughs> I believe, I believe, I like listened to shitty Christian rock. That's yes, probably you did. what I listened you to did. during those years. Listen to life. listen to early hominids hooting that I recorded. But <laughs> you could, you could say, is he gonna fucking kick our ass? Uh oh, oh no! I have the homes and stones. He's gonna fucking win, man. He's some sort of <laughs> this is his biggest moment. Hustler. This is the biggest moment of his life. He's like, I'm finally going to beat you. Finally. Oh, man. Oh, I can Stones and homes. Happening. Finally, this my wife f- will respect me when I come home. <laughs> <laughs> the Prince of Shapiro won again. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> oh, when... really? How many times has he played? Uh, none? Zero? <laughs> Imagine if he could imagine if he could tell we were restoring to before he won and the look on his face. <laughs> yeah, this guy seems like it would be very easy to like be like, "Oh, hey, what's that over there?" <laughs> <laughs> and then switch all the stones and homes around. <laughs> oh, I so, am no longer winning. So, Luke, what was your 12 to 14? I feel like it was like the offspring in like 9 inch nails. Yeah. 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 That makes yeah. sense. Like that makes sense. That that kind of works, mm. right? Yeah. So has that has that like influenced your musical taste for the rest of your life? Mm. I don't know if I would say that like um I mean it, it may have influenced it. I don't know if it necessarily defined it. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know if it defined, but there was definitely an influence. So, why don't you guys uh, who who are watching put your uh, your twelve to fourteen years in there, mm. and uh, we'll we'll look up some hits from your years. Yeah, so that's a good idea. Uh, next next episode. I I guess I sort of uh, am an example of the rule because I I straight up do not listen to music. 
Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't because you my know, musical my musical taste expired completely. They just because uh, ceased it's, to be. It's very like it's very like uh, important. Like if you are. If you are 12 to 14 now and listening, first of all, what the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't be fucking watching this. Second of all, uh, listen to as much music as you as you possibly can, like different genres and stuff. Like that stuff is going to stick with you. So uh, I'm wondering, Alex, if perhaps you're just not so much more evolved, like similar to how like a robot doesn't have to eat because he has a battery. You don't... You don't... Uh, well... well or like when you were 12 to 14, someone bought you a cassette tape, but you didn't realize it was blank, and now that influences you. <laughs> I, just, I just think that's what music sounds like, is silence. Yes. It's like, this is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we've had this conversation many times, me and, uh, me and Alex, about his... Uh... Holy fuck, man. He's killing you. Oh, what happened? Yeah, your Sufu just suddenly got good. What the fuck? We were destroyed, 17 to 16. <laughs> it's a destroyed. Well, I guess our mojo's gone after watching the two lion tours go at it at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta excuse me, Yasufu. You don't even know what I saw I'm the other day. Still night. in shock, Yasufu. <laughs> Barely I just coping. can't think of I, I can't think of things going into things right now. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, I see yeah. everywhere is furry dick. So seriously, put down your uh, put down your years below if you don't mind sharing your age, especially if you're a friend of the show. And I know, I know we got a lot of you out there, mm. PCs. Jenna also, uh, I'm I'm genuinely curious if anyone else just straight up never listens to music. The only other person I know is my dad. He also has the same thing. It, it does nothing for him. Uh, it's I, I realized that the other day. I was talking to him about it, and it occurred to me. Yeah, I've never seen him listen to music on purpose. Uh, maybe, oh, <laughs> maybe you can. Maybe you inherited a gene. It, it could be could be biological in some way. I, I think I I don't, I don't think it's quite fair and so, point about being more evolved because so that he implies does. music is this primitive thing, and I guess it's yeah. very old, but it's you know it's quite complex. Uh, so I don't I don't know. That, that's so, a little unfair to music to say that it's <laughs> something I'm developing. So he I, I'm just throwing out theories to music. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I appreciate lots of stuff about music, and I like you know. The other day I was listening to stuff about, what do they call it, like, polychromic music that has, like, an extra dimension to it beyond what normal music does, which is incredibly hard to understand. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's an interesting subject. Yeah, it just doesn't... Uh, but yeah. you're also, like, I also find, like, you're not, you're, you're very open-minded to music, too. Like, you're open-minded to that stuff. Like, I, I'll, I'll tell you to, like, I'll, like, say, hey, check this out, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, okay. I, I, I listen to all the music that people send me, and it's rare that I don't like something about it. And it's nice yeah. to have somebody like recommend something to you as like, oh, you'll like this about this. Uh, I suppose, and it's I like, listen for that thing, and you know, I do. it'd be yeah, like it'd true. be like not liking sports, and then like someone saying, hey, look at all the teams in this game, and you'd be like, yeah, they're all pretty cool. The, the 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 psychological thing it's called musical anhedonia. It's where you don't have the normal the normal emotional response to a piece of music. So like. Uh, if a piece of music is sad, I, I know that's what they're trying to evoke. I, I get why the music is supposed to sound sad, but I don't feel anything in response to that. And I'm slightly offended by <laughs> the assertion that I'm meant to be sad here on cue. Right? <laughs> so, not, not hugely offended, but just enough to make me not that into it, I guess. That's how I feel when I watch Pixar films. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's probably the like, the closest way to latch on to yes. my mental state when I listen to music. That's uh, you you've commented this 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 to me before. You find Pixar films extremely hollow. I <laughs> do a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I still cry like a baby, but I still <laughs> I but I do. I feel like oh, you're just doing the same. You're manipulating me, and I hate it. And I, I, ah, 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 ah. Pixar manipulation. <laughs> okay, we're good. Well, this is good. Let's end this here. Band name, yeah. call it. Hey, is Uhura Pixar a marriage manipula candidate? Pixar no, manipula. she's so, well. I guess she's not married. She got well. She got fucked, but that's uh, <laughs> she got she's not necessarily married. 
He definitely. <laughs> I just love the way you, that Luke sees that it's like she got <laughs> she got impregnated or she she got fucked. It's like she got fucked. Uh. Well, let's not <laughs> let's not kid ourselves. That's why she went there. Yeah. Well, exactly. She went, she went away from the Simbani village to get fucked, and then she. <laughs> <laughs> and then when she had a baby, you I know? gotta know. I gotta know who the dad is. I gotta <laughs> know. It's Gilbert Gottfried. It has to be. <laughs> Oh well. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for hanging in there. Uh, stay warm, unless you're in the southern hemisphere, and then try to cool off. Yeah. How, how are your temperatures down there uh, in New we just, Zealand? Uh, we just had some rain, but uh, now it's very, very sunny and very hot again. So we yeah. were getting we we're getting into the thirties, but I guess I don't know. Um, you guys probably get it hotter in your summer. So yeah. got it. Well, it's around that. Yeah, get depends around on that. where. Get yeah. around that. Yeah. Around here. Yeah. If I went outside right now, I could live for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it warm enough for that right now? That's good. No, I think uh, like, actually, I, in Edmonton, I think if I just went out. In, yeah, I, I think if I went out in a t-shirt, it would be something like thirty minutes before I died of exposure. <laughs> something like that. I, I forget what the actual time. It's, it's, um, it's Way a smaller amount of time than you'd think. It's nothing yeah. more, uh, nothing more than a single. Twenty three degrees below zero right now. Holy, Holy shit! Fuck! That, I've actually never colder experienced here. Uh, that temperature. It's minus twenty eight here. Oh my oh, god! Oh, nice. How do when, you, what is it when, when, it's, when it when it's higher than minus thirty? I think that's not too cold. Well, you got you <laughs> guys aren't is, talking Celsius though, are you? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, Celsius. really. Oh yeah. my yeah. god, that's insane! It I'm, is insane. Uh, I mean, at, at minus thirty ish, like it doesn't matter whether it's Celsius or Fahrenheit. That's roughly where they converge. Wow, like, I've never in my life experienced that temperature. It's it's an experience. <laughs> it's well, a it's thing. It, there's a reason that there was a time that most of the people who lived in Canada were gray wolves. <laughs> and still it's a competitively high population it's really the only type of animal that's way into this type of weather what what are you guys what are you guys hitting with your wind chill uh, uh, uh um, went went down to like 40 something the other day yeah, my, minus, 40 minus 40 is what i heard minus 40 yeah that'll Goodness that'll me. that'll snap your cheeks off <laughs> <laughs> well no uh, like at all Inevitably, every winter when these temperatures happen, there's always like uh, a news video showing a guy throwing. What they'll do is they'll take a, a bucket of boiling water, and then when it's minus forty, I'll throw it in the air, and it'll like instantly freeze and crystallize. Uh, yeah, crystallize. Yeah. Wow. Cool. yeah, I mean, so yeah, moment, but you, you guys still get your uh, frostbite warnings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the moment, it's nothing. Nothing more than a singlet outside. It's it's so such a contrast isn't it <laughs> it's insane that's that's where we're at and the you good know, news is it's it's too cold to properly precipitate so the snow hasn't been bad at all <laughs> <laughs> that's true wow. that is true the the last time I have a lot of snow last time i saw snow i was three years old oh man yeah it's, it's crazy lucky guy <laughs> last last see. time I saw uh, I saw snow, I was today years old. I was today, yeah, I, I got two feet of snow all around me right now. Wow. So, yeah, that's where, that's where you go. It's Canada, eh? Canada. Yep. Although it's all the right. same snow that's been there for the last, like, three or four months, so. So do you guys even have to, like, you know, like, dig out of, like, does it ever get high enough that it's, like, you know, you're stuck in your house? Oh, A boy, few, does it. Yeah. Yeah. Really? yeah. I, wow. I remember, uh, I think Alex was there too. There was one night that we were at Matt's place playing D&D. And we had we basically had to stay the night because the blizzard was too bad to go home. Oh, and then in the morning, like we got up and had to dig Matt's car out. And yeah. I think the snow was like four feet tall at oh that point. Oh my gosh. There were like We've four had... of us just shoveling around Matt's car so we could get out. I have a picture of me with snow way over my head. Just on the yep. east side of my driveway, like I had like a garage made out of snow in the front. In of my house. Uh, in Atlanta, Canada, the conditions get <laughs> right sometimes where it's both cold enough and sort of humid enough that you get just incredible amounts of snow. Uh, yeah. yeah, not always, but often enough that yeah, it's you'll you'll in it's in St. John every year 
at least one person is found in the snowbanks in the spring. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> they sort of get rolled up and... Well, I shouldn't laugh at it, I guess. <laughs> it's just sort of... Just the, 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 they, they get rolled up and packed into those big cylinders. I say this as if Lou will know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> the snowplows leave these gigantic cylinders You know of those snow. body cylinders, you know? <laughs> and so they, it, they, it turns they... into this gigantic cylinder of ice and it has a dead person in it, but the snow is so solid and deep. Do they, fire it, cylinders do they fire it they, at Genesis? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry. But it's, it's it's like a perfect... The snowplow leaves like a perfect human radius tomb for uh, wow. uh, the, the poor uh, individual to mummify it until spring. Uh, I've never I've never been one of the people who found it, but I'm told there's always one, at least one, every year in St. John. That's always how one person goes. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this, we got some snow. I'll just have to, I'm just gonna have to come and experience Canada one day. Oh man, yeah. I want to. Yeah. I want to be there so that I can see your like childlike wonder <clears> of. Uh... <laughs> and then you can appreciate what you have. <laughs> yeah, like the other night. The other. The reason we have so much snow right now is because we got a, 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 like on Sunday night we got f- like 40 centimeters of snow, just overnight. And they just close school in the morning. They're like, yeah, it was sunny, but they're like, no. Nah. No. You see, that's what we never no. get. We never get, I, like, I've never, ever in my life, all go, going through school, had a snow day, ever. The, you don't get oh, that. snow days. Oh, they're, it's they're a like, magical they're like thing Christmas. Yeah, yeah, never had it. They're so better than Christmas because you don't have to do anything. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> you can just play video games all day. I mean, I remember when we were kids, like, Andrew and I would, like, hang out by the radio and listen for them to call it like yeah. on and and uh, it was, it was right. amazing it was amazing and then we'd fire up the super nintendo and then nice. boom day super well spent they, 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 you get those perfect days a few times every winter where school would be canceled but no particularly horrific road accidents happened and the power yeah. didn't go out and so it was just a day where you didn't have to do shit uh, matt's matt's kid was telling me the other day he had a snow day I was like, man, I'll never have another snow day as long as I goddamn live. Not necessarily true. Well, I mean, like <laughs> teleconferencing or telecommuting does make it a lot harder to Way justify harder. snow days. But we did have at least one snow day that I remember um, in, in in fairly recent memory. Not here in Edmonton, but back when I was still in Halifax, where there was a blizzard that was just so bad that if, that like the boss was just like emailed everybody just said don't come to work today yeah <laughs> it's not safe actually there, there, there might have been a day like that back when i worked in halifax yeah there's been well, a couple get enough we, snow in edmonton for that but we had some snow days uh yeah that's back true. in the old days and, and i'll tell you like it's just one of those things and it, it doesn't happen often but when it happens it's kind of a treat and although uh i'm teaching right now so but i still don't get snow days because of because we have to zoom <laughs> <laughs> I just teach from home. That's yeah. the goddamn difference. technology connecting I know. us all. Co- COVID, COVID, like let let everyone in on the whole. Hey, you can actually still do things when uh, you can't physically leave your house. I know. Yeah. The, but <laughs> snow but days may just be a thing of the past now. But mm. students are all already finding way, ways around it. They're like, uh oh, my powers flicker. <laughs> They're gone. Log off. Okay. What can I do? My internet I guess your power sucks. went out. Oh no, my internet di- it's, it's gone. Yeah. I was this I mean, is a long trying to log episode. on trying to log, log on um to, <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say everyone's getting a little bit of pork future. All right, all right. Yeah, we got to we got to end this. We got to end this. This is like a triple episode. <laughs> this is a long quadruple. <laughs> we're over an hour. Oh my this gosh! This is, this enjoy month. these two extra long episodes of us just <laughs> going on about <laughs> stuff. And just sitting in this hut too, not even progressing. The, just the, the, all right, that's okay. how we end a lot of episodes. Honestly, yeah. it's true. Yeah, uh, if you guys want to throw us a dislike, we we get it. We yeah. deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> we deserve it. <laughs> but thank you for joining us on Childhood Snow Day Chat. Yes. You will not. We promise you, you will not go on the level zero shit list if you throw us a dislike. No. Yeah. Little but don't be a coward about it. Yeah. Tell us who you are in the comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've got to own the dislike. <laughs> so, so down below in the uh, in the comments today, 
we would like to get from you uh, the music that was popular when you were the ages 12 to 14. And uh, if you remember Snow Days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Throw it in there. And and any questions for Glory? If you can turn of if you can turn what we've just asked you to do into questions for Glory, my god, you'll be a legend. Yeah. And if there's anyone from Legendary. the southern hemisphere that can sympathize with my lack of snow days, chime in. We don't have any listeners from no, I don't the think we do, do we? You were our only one and you joined us. <laughs> 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 You better not be our only one, or Lewis isn't doing his fucking job. I reckon. <laughs> God damn it, you were meant to bring in the, the other half of the planet. Bring in the other half of the planet, Lou. I mean, at least two or three. You must know somebody that would watch this show. <laughs> I, I share it. Didn't you, or, I know, don't you just I happen know. to own, like, one of the, what, what is it, five or six internet connections into New Zealand? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's why it was so shit trying to log on today. Oh man! Three of the other internet connections are just for birds. Yep. <laughs> Canadians <laughs> making fun of of uh, New Zealanders like that's just no. Do, no the, you, do you, that doesn't get any. That's rich. You've got to do it. <laughs> it's like I'm delighted that three to five minutes later we're still talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I I just said that most Canadians are wolves. <laughs> that's true that's fair if you made it all the way to the end you're our personal glory hero and uh, mm-hmm. we appreciate you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see you next time everybody we really have to fucking end this yeah. <laughs> comment banana uh, if everyone, you made it to the end this, this could have been two weekends worth of recording this is why we need to do this podcast I just keep saying it we keep not doing we it we have two episodes recorded and cute. I know. we just haven't have it, like we just knew we weren't going to record more for a long time. I mean, I guess we could just air them. Yeah, what and say, to, like, we what don't know CDR when Zelda. we're going to record another one. And just not Append make them to the end of this video. <laughs> <laughs> just Why is this pod- video an hour and a half long? <laughs> put, put the podcast, like, thing up. And then just transition into both episodes <laughs> of the podcast. <laughs> and just it's, upload a three-hour video. Does it end? <laughs> And then and then oh. put two minute warning on afterwards. Oh yeah! <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, stay cool. Bye, everyone. Bye.